Hello, welcome. Take a moment, try this problem out, press play, and we'll solve it together. Okay, so we're told here for x does not, when x does not equal 0, which expressions are equivalent to 1 divided by the 6th root of x? So first of all, x can't be 0 because we would, would be dividing by 0 in each case. Uh, so that's just, they're just giving us a, um, a parameter here for, to work with. Then, look at this. This is, this is difficult for many people. 1 divided by the 6th root of x. This is not what we're talking about. It's not 1 divided by x to the 6th. Right? It's 1, looking at this, divided by the 6th root of x, which by definition is 1 over x to the 1 6th power. In general, if you remember this, you, if you have x to the 1 over n, that's equal to the nth root of x. It's a definition that we can work with here. Okay, how does it help us? Well, now we know choice 3 is okay because by definition, another definition, right, these two things are equal. And what definition is that? Well, it's te that's the definition that x to the negative n power is 1 over x to the n. Right? In other words, if you see x to the negative n, it means 1 divided by x to that positive n value, the positive value you have. And that's exactly what we have here. Finally, um, it's not so clear what's happening, but these two are actually equal to each other. Right? So if 1 is true, 2 is true, and likewise, if 2 is true, 1 is also true. The sixth root of x is x to the 1 sixth. And the third root of x is x to the 1 third. So I'm not sure if these are equal, so I would calculate it. I'm going to say, are they equal? Question mark here. x to the 1 sixth divided by x to the 1 third. In order to figure out if they are equal, let's, let's actually use our law of exponents. A third law comes up. If you have a to the m, let's say, uh, actually, sorry, I'll use x again. If you have x to the a divided by x to the b, this is, must be equal to x to the a minus b. You subtract the exponents when you're dividing. So here, this would have to equal x to the 1 sixth minus 1 third, which is 2 sixth. And what's 1 sixth minus 2 sixth? Well, that equals x to the negative 1 sixth, right? 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So that does equal, I'm going to erase my question mark now. I've got that. I figured it out, right? That does equal x to the negative 1 sixth which then equals 1 over x to the 1 sixth. And these are both the same thing, so they're all equivalent, 1, 2, and 3. So there's a lot to unpack in this question. You get these three laws we're working with, um, that the x to the 1 over n is the nth root of x, x to the negative n is 1 over x to the n, and x to the a divided by x to the b is x to the a minus b. So I hope that helps, and have a nice day.